Hi everybody, welcome back to another one of these videos. Um, today we will be doing more stuff. <clears throat> like the triangles, adding fractions, um, converting time, and also multiplying fractions. So they kind of did it in a little bit of a weird order, but it's okay. So the four types of triangles, you have the isosceles, you have the equilateral, you have the scalene, and you have the right. Or I'm going to teach you guys the equilateral and isosceles. Equilateral, all the sides are the same. So that would be 1, 7, 7, and 9. Thank you, Pentel, for cooperating with me. And isosceles, two sides are the same, and then the bottom one is just different. So what you would get would be 3, right? A, 5, and 11. I'm writing with a really weird angle here, so... It's a little bit harder to uh, get good handwriting and show you guys everything perfectly. Next one, we will be adding fractions. So 2 and 1 fourth plus 1 and 1 fourth. Easy. What is, so you want to do the whole numbers and then the fractions you want to add. So 2 plus 1 is 3 and then 1 fourth plus 1 fourth equals, uh, equals... 2 over 4, 3, 2 over 4, but then you could simplify that to 3 and a half. Wow, amazing. Next one. Here we go, uh, number 2 for adding fractions. 4 and a half would be the answer. You want to know why? Because you want 3 plus 1, 4, and you have nothing to add here, so it's just 1 half. It's not as hard today, so I'm going to take my time a little bit more explaining to you Time conversions. Time conversions. Three weeks. Wait, so if you look at the graph, one week is seven days. And three weeks, this is just going to be a little bit of a quick extra math. Three weeks would equal 21 days, right? And the ratio would be one week to seven days. Which is basically meaning one, meaning the week, is to seven days. So, great. Fun. So, for the hours one. And, oh, actually, yeah, three, three, and so the actual time conversion would be one to seven, or three to 21, but you could always simplify this back to that. It's really cool. You just literally just have to figure out what... So you have the number on the left, you have the number on the right, you want to multiply the number on the right by the by the number on the left. That's a graph. Fun. Hours. So we're going to do how many, four hours as to how many minutes, right? It's going to be great. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Four hours is to 240 minutes. Because the ratio is 1 to 60, so you want to multiply... 4 times 60, and you 2, 4, and then you will 0. How great is that? So 240. So it would be 4 to 240, I guess. That's what they want you to put here. Last one of the day. So we're going to be multiplying fractions. This is probably the easiest thing you will be learning today. Because you multiply the top by the top, you multiply the numerator by the numerator, and the denominator by the denominator, and you simplify if you can. So, 1 fourth times 1 fourth. What is 4 times 4? That would be 16. That would be... No. Uh, that would be multiplying fractions. Give me one second. My answer is contradicting the answer PD, uh, sheet. Let me make sure that I looked at it correctly. Yes, it is one fourth times one fourth. I don't think that they got the right answer on my answer sheet. Must have been a typo or someone did math wrong. Well, here's the actual answer. Answer one over 16 because four times four is 16. You don't add these, you multiply them. Next one for number two. Easiest one, 8 times 1 fourth. So 1 times 8 is 8, and then you don't, and, and, and remember, whole numbers are something over 1, so 1 times 4 is 4. 
And you can simplify this down to the number 2. So, these are the answers here. As always, I'm going to go on my tangent of saying, if, uh, thank you for coming back here. Hopefully, hopefully you guys learned something today. If you didn't, well, it's okay. There's always next week, or, and there are also other videos on this. Um, if you have any questions, there's the comment section or the email in the description. You can go to the description box below, below the video down there. I'm trying to point, I'm trying to point, I'm sorry. It's down there below the video. Uh, you can go check it out. A ask a question, somebody should reply to you. I say should. Um, yeah, and uh, that's it. Um, Merry Christmas, uh, Happy New Year's to everybody, and uh, yeah, see you guys next week for another lesson. Bye!